By far, supervised machine learning is the most used uh, kind of machine learning category. Yes. And why supervise? Because in fact, we humans supervise the algorithm to learn things that we want it to learn. Yes. And this is important. And let me explain how in fact supervised machine learning works in a very easy uh, way to do that. We have three important phases when you are dealing and you want to, to prepare a model with supervised machine learning. The first phase is you have to prepare the training data. You use training data with features, in this case x1, 2, 3, until xn, and you want to find a target value, an outcome. Could be something that is in the present, in the future, uh, in the past, it doesn't matter. You have some information which are the features and you want to predict an outcome, uh, a new information, in this case the y variable here. Using three different situations, three different examples. The first one, for example, condo sale. What kind of data do you have to train a model uh, in this kind of uh, problem in this kind of uh, situation area. You have, for example, information about the, the last condos that you have you have sold. For example, uh, the condos has the square feet, the number of rooms, uh, how many years is the, the condo, where is the neighborhood, where is the borough that the condo is, and you have the price that you have sold this condo, okay? And uh, different examples here that you have. Then you use that to train a model. Another uh, example here, uh, if, you, if you want to build a virtual agent, a chatbot, yes, what kind of examples in this case? You have sentence, yes, questions that someone can, can ask to a, a virtual agent. And what is the objective here? Is to get an intention, a class, yes? In this case, an example, where is the store located? What kind of intention here? It's direction. Uh, what time is the store opens? What kind of intention we have here? It's related to time. And you can use that kind of data to, to train a model to use in a chatbot. And a third uh, situation here, a third example, is uh, related to image classification. You have an image, for example, for cats and dog, and you want to build a model that uh, classify you uh, cats and dogs and show you that uh, when a new picture could be a cat or a dog. Okay, then this is your training data. As I said, and a machine learning uh, engineer, he chose one kind of learning algorithm. Yes, what, what, uh, and we have different models, different learning algorithms. We, ha we have linear regression, we, which comes from statistics, logistical regression, decision trees, support vector machines, ensemble models like Deep Forest, and also uh, neural networks that can be very sh shallow, but also deep neural networks, yes? Then we use that algorithm, the engineer used that algorithm on top of the training data, okay, on top of the training data, to build what? To build a model. And what is a model? A model is a new algorithm with lots of different mathematic equations and lots of different parameters, yes? And the model can be from different times. It depends on what kind of learning algorithm you use. Usually, if you are using a linear regression algorithm, you will have just an, a, an, a big equation with, with weights, with parameters. If you have, for example, a neural network, we, you will have that kind of graph on the bottom of this uh, column here. Okay? And during this phase, how to see if the model is good or not? The machine learning engineer has to, to take care of the error, the cost, the accuracy of the model until he defines that now the model is great, let's move it to production, to use the model with new data. And then with new data, and this phase we call the inference phase, the prediction phase, it doesn't matter, you will have new features, new, new data with new features, and your what you want is to pre predict the why, predict what is the, the result uh, from that, that model, okay? And 
in the in the first example the condos uh, sales you have now new data with new square feet rooms years and borrow and your objective here is to predict what would be the price what would be the price associated with those features in the second example if this is a chatbot yes you have now a new questions will the store open tomorrow and uh, the model will return you what is this is intention ah, this intention time and maybe your answer will be to show the time schedule for the your store uh, for tomorrow for example and in the third case in the third case what you have you have a new photo in the first one you can see that it's a dog yes and the result of your model is uh, as I said a probability that uh, that photo is a dog, a point 0.96 in this case, it's not a cat for sure. But the second, uh, the second uh, picture here is a picture from a cow. And cow is not a dog and neither a, a, a cat. For that reason, the probability to be a, a dog or a cat is very low. And probably your algorithm took the decision that in this case, it's not even, it's not a dog and neither a cat. This is machine learning supervised. You start with the training data, you use a learning algorithm to build a model and then when the model uh, is in a accuracy that you, you think it's, it's great, you move that to production and in production you will have answers, answers associated with probability. And this is supervised machine learning.